computer geek here. We're going to be working on a Power Wheel build this winter. So we got a uh, 24 volts with a ESC. In the current Power Wheel setup, right? Yes. So what's going on with your Power Wheel ever since you got bigger? It's been blowing motors in the back and some other stuff. Been blowing gearboxes. We end up with these showing up for free or really cheap quite often. And this machine is now on its third set of used gearboxes in the back. And the bigger that John gets, the more often it tends to blow them up. So we converted this over to an ESC back about three years or so ago with one of these little Chinese kits. And these used to be pretty expensive, but now you can pick them up for around 16 bucks or so. And I'll make sure that there's some links down below in case you're curious for yourself. And on the back of a lot of them now, they actually give the full wiring diagram in order to make it easy for people. Nowadays, they have these smaller foot controls. This one's got an older style large metal one, which John likes better. And you can hook them up to just the old fashioned Razor 24 volt scooter chargers. All you do is just buy one of these adapters and the adapter plugs right into this ESC kit and you can have it do its own charging independently. So in the front here, all we have is just a couple of regular standard wire terminals. And we've been running it for three years now on just wire modules like these. So there's one, and there's one, and they last, I don't know, probably about, when John was younger three years ago, he could ride around for about two hours or so on one of these battery packs that we made. Now that he's closer into the 60, 65 pound ratio, they usually last about an hour or so. So it's time to upgrade. So John... What are we going to go and do with the scooter you're sitting on? I'm going to use it for the parts and the motor in it for this. Can we show them what the motor in the back looks like? Let me get zoomed in here. So mobility scooters like these rascals, they have an actual transaxle with the motor in the back. And they're really beefy motors, and they'll take upwards of 48 volts. And what else are we going to use off of this? The frame, too, because it has a really good frame in it. The frame is really good? Mm -hmm. So if I was to lift it up so we could see, and let's see it. if I can lift it. There we are. So the underside on these is entirely solid steel frame. Now it has a independent suspension in the back, which is kind of weird. It's, it's kind of a cross between a leaf spring and a coil setup. And we'll take a look at that once the mobility scooter is torn down to frame. And... What do we have up front here? What is this particular piece right in here? Another spring for the for when you're going off road. For suspension, it's got full suspension all the way around. Do power wheels have suspension? No. No. Would you like suspension? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the other thing is, is this came with a working set of batteries they are older well one is older the other one is recent recently replaced they are um agms so we're gonna have to go and figure out charging for those because i don't expect that the 24 volt um esc will be able to do those 
And... We also got headlights. Yeah, this thing actually has headlights and taillights and everything. Now, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves because the problem is the reason we ended up with this unit for free is because, well, go ahead and turn the key on. That blinky green light. So with age, these things usually start to have sensor failure. And you can bypass the sensors and everything. But this is your proportion for your speed on these. And these are simply just... Um, they're two-way toggle switch connections. And so it's in neutral. It's in reverse, neutral, forward. And they're all or nothing switches. They do not have any variability. So this knob here is your only speed control. Especially which is why... You. you want to show them the light? Okay. There we go. It's got blinkers. There it goes. I just want to check it out the back. The back's working. The back is working. switch. There we go. So, because of this knob here, you don't actually have real throttle control in the system. And so, that is why it is you want one of these ESCs. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to wire it up so it is still going through the original gear shift in this, so that we will have... Reverse, first, and second, just like the original stock machine. That way, if we put a tow hitch or anything on the back of here, he'll still have his towing capacity. Alright, so we got a couple of issues in the idea of trying to combine this to this. The first of which is pretty simple. The power wheel is significantly longer than the mobility scooter. But that's just a simple matter of slicing the frame, putting some extensions in, and we go from there. The steering for this obviously comes out the center and not over here, but that's just a matter of putting a go-kart shaft in with steering column so that we can bring it over to where it's supposed to be. That's not too bad. That's about a hundred dollar investment. Um, the third issue that we're going to have, as you can probably see, is that the power wheel is significantly wider than the mobility scooter is. But we do have kind of a semi workaround for it. John, would you like to show them the tires and the rims? So, these are your normal rims for these, and those actually fit up with this, once we flip it over here. So, we're going to try and do what to the lawn tractor front tire? Uh, yep. It fits. So, the game plan here is to take these, which come apart, they're two-piece, as you can hear it rattling. And this back part is steel and has four bolts blatantly in it. So if we were to take that back part and we were to combine it with the front rim of a lawn tractor, then we should be able to go through the four mounting bolts and have a tire. So if John moves, we can see the ratio of... Whoop, whoop, no, no, we need to go next to here. We can see the ratio of that versus the stock tire is pretty close. A 13-inch lawn tractor tire is pretty close. But what's interesting is that you can also buy some pretty decently sized 15-inch ATV tires, which from here to there is just about exactly 15 inches. So we're going to start with these. 
because pretty much anybody can manage to get a hold of lawn tractor front rims from just about every junkyard across America. And we're going to try to bolt those to those. And that should bring the size of this out to almost the same exact width as that. So, in closing, John, what are you wearing for a shirt? It's an old MTD Mud Terrain Dominator shirt from back when we built the original gas-powered power wheel back when John was only about a year old. And if you guys would like to go and help with sponsoring John's build here and doing this power wheel, I'm going to recreate the, mud um, the MTD Mud Terrain Dominator shirts using Teespring through YouTube. And I'll post a link down below in order to be able to sponsor John's build here so that we can get this thrown together for him. Do you have any closing arguments? No. You want to say bye-bye?